had a family of parts, six parts, a lot of them a year. Um, and all of a sudden that just dropped. Throughout the next week, it was kind of a panic, right? We're like, well, I don't know what we're gonna do with this thing. Well, what can we put on it otherwise? It can do anything, right? Probably two days later, I was looking at grippers. We'll, we'll change the grippers out easy. I have a printer. Just look at what we can change with the fixturing. And it was set up so universally that we could just change a few things here and there, and then we were off to the races. Working with the UR, if you first look at the pendant and you don't know anything about it, it's a little scary, but then you just start playing with it and it's so easy to learn. I trained two other people how to do basic setups already, and I'd guarantee if I go back to them now, they can make simple programs and go and they figure it out just like I did. So it's, it's amazingly simple and easy to work with. The two months it's been here, we probably have 12 different parts that we've ran on it. Um, some big orders, some small, but everything is set up so easy we can put it back on there in an hour and be off and running again. Working with PCC it was a dream. We made a plan, there was communication the entire way. Um, they helped us wire everything up. Um, we spent numerous times on the phone with them at 8 o'clock at night with your engineering team just trying to figure out you know, a little problem or hiccup that we had. And instead of pulling my hair out for the entire night, we figured it out. And we're, we are up and running again. I would do it again in a heartbeat. We definitely make sure that parts that lend themselves well to the Cobot are routed to that machine. Tyler's probably got the 3D printer running weekly so that we can make different grippers to be able to adjust for the outside diameter if it's a round or square or whatever. We work with our scheduling department to know what parts are Cobot centric so that we can make sure that they're routed to the right machine. And now that we've done some that are repetitive, we're always pushing to find more parts to run through it, find different ways to use it. We talk <clears throat> weekly about you know, what can we do to automate or use a Cobot on the press brake. Can we use it on a turning center? Where Where is the next spot for it? It was not great news to get a phone call from the customer that says, hey, we just uh, got started and our customer pulled the rug out on us. But to just see what Tyler did, not only to pivot that first week and make something happen, but to take that and run with it over the course of months, um, execute a number of different geometries, different work holding, different gripper fingers, uh, seeing a, a staging solution that was completely redesigned on the fly. That's the way it should be every time. Is it every time? Of course not. But you know, it's a, it's a testament to, I think, how we've designed our business, and it's a testament to Universal Robot's um, programming environment.